Hey everybody, just wanted to share a little piece I had just finished. This is an old gramophone. So I used the horn and the little cabinet that it sits on. And the horn was all uh, crumpled, or at least crumpled more than I wanted it to be. So I ran it through the English wheel. And it kind of destroyed the paint a little bit, but it had this really cool effect. Kind of really made it look like a flower. <laughs> that was a pleasant surprise. And then the hummingbird's made out of silverware. And his beak, he just kind of twists. I put a hook on the end of his beak. And so he's loose. And when you transport it, you can take him out. So he just pivots and twists and comes out of there. And then I just used a filing cabinet that had like a faux wood grain on it. Made the leaves. It's this filing cabinet right here. Sides of a filing cabinet. I hauled some stuff off and I did a video of it actually. I'll try to remember to put a link here, but this filing cabinet was in that stuff I hauled off in my double cab that time I went to the salvage yard. I cut I had cut the sides of the walls out because it had such nice grain. So when you faux rust it, it looks really cool. So I kept that one cabinet. And then this is just a modified uh, top piece to make it kind of look like a sepal of the flower. And then the curlicues are welded to, there's a piece back here that has a nut welded to it and the whole stamen set threads in and I had to make a tool because I can't get my hand back there <laughs> to tighten it. So the tool to undo all of that is down in the wooden box down there. And then I tried to use all the pieces of the cabinet I could. So down here where the switch is, is where the crank handle would be. I'm going to turn the lights off and we can take a peek at it, what it looks like when the lights are off. Turned out pretty cool. I like the, my shop lights are glaring. I like the overall effect of it, that's for sure. And unfortunately in my shop, you can't really get a good view of it because of the background. But there's little curly cues all on the stem too. Let me shut these lights off and I'll show you what it looks like. In a dark room, it's a pretty uh, cool effect. You get this pleasant reddish orange glow, which is just really cool. And the hummingbird gets it too. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but it's kind of got a nice effect in a dark room. I wish you could really see the reddish, but oh well, you can't. So this is going to the gallery today and uh, it probably won't last very long. Let me turn the light off and I'll show you what I did for the stamen. So it took like a yellow, eh, <laughs> we have to get a flashlight, took a yellow paint and made it look like it was palinish. Let me see here. So I painted them kind of a yellowish and then faux rusted around them to kind of give a, a non shiny effect. So keep them kind of still looking like it's pollen or whatever, but then I added, I can't get the light to show it right. It's actually kind of dotted and spotted. It looks, looks pretty good. It looks pretty legit. So this will be off to the gallery and no longer here. I thought I'd film it while it was still, still here because it won't last, I don't think. And this is the kind of, kind of stuff I love building. And then the stems of each of the flowers have these little cups of leaves, or not flowers, but the leaf branches. And each little leaf has a little floret, little cup at the bottom of it too. And then there's a round uh, piece of steel underneath. And that's what everything is kind of built off of. And it goes down into the cabinet, welded down into the cabinet. And then there's a two pound weight in the bottom. It really doesn't want to tip either way. It's very stable. So the balance of it, it wants to sit right there. In fact, not on the cabinet, it'll just sit right like that. So that's the cool thing about it. It's not got any pressure on it leaning either way. 
The cabinet is just a riser. Oh, you know what? I didn't sign it. It just occurred to me. I need to find a spot to sign it. Maybe on one of the leaves in the back. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Say bye, because we don't, aren't going to see it again. Later, little man. I built it height-wise so it would fit in my double cab. So the, the little side door here. I know that I have a certain height in there, but it fits perfect in here and I can rest it against this chair so I don't even have to worry about, it, or this uh, seat, don't have to worry about it being crazy. The nice thing about it being on a square base is it wants to sit there. So I think that will transport just fine in the Forerunner. It's going to take the bus, but it's a little chilly this morning. That'll work. Sweet. And it makes it easy for someone if they want to transport it. It's nice to know it'll fit like that. Off we go. There it is in the gallery. Shows up a lot better. The leaves and everything in here. I knew it would with the white background behind it. The horn even kind of looks velvety, like a trumpet vine really will. <laughs> I was bummed that the paint messed up, but then after I got the light in it, I liked it that way. Guess which corner is mine in the gallery? This one. Oh, where all the junk goes to hide. Let's get the, a wheelbarrow in here, and I got a chair in here too. And some saws. I think it looks pretty good there. I had a lamp here and I'm taking it out and replacing it with this one. went down like this to take a picture and I noticed my grubby paws have been all over the bulb and it's not showing up but <laughs> I need to take a paper towel and clean that off yeah it looks pretty nasty yeah definitely need to do that yeah and the wings on the hummingbird too are touched it yeah I'll fix that and then we're gonna call it good yes I did. Go sign it. A little different than all the rest. I quite old fashioned wear a hat, sometimes play chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage fling. That I adore So hard to find They seem impossible